Food insecurity is a greater problem than energy. Governments spend a lot of time and resources to reduce the rising energy cost after Russia occupied Ukraine. However, the war planned the seeds of a larger crisis, which did not attract almost the same amount of attention. Global food scarcity pushes food prices to record levels with economic and political consequences for developed countries, and a threat of famine and debt shortages in developing countries. Much more should be done. Russia's invasion of the turbo charges the existing food insecurity. Ukraine and Russia make up more than one-tenth of all calories traded globally. They produce 30% of world wheat exports and 60% of sunflower oil. At least 26 countries rely on Russia and or Ukraine for more than half of their cereals. According to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, the war will leave 20-30% of Ukraine's agricultural land for the 2022 season unmarked or harvested. The recent G7 foreign ministers meeting, which is the focus of Ukrainian ports, which is the focus of the meeting, was stranded because of the blockage of Russia. Russian farmers can still produce, while exported sanctions have been blocked. Russia, the world's largest fertilizer exporter, declared export ban in early March. Sanctions were imposed on exports from Belarus, which was allied with Russia. China banned exports of fertilizer last summer. Now there is a disastrous global fertilizer. Prices jumped, which led farmers to change their crops or use less nutrients, probably led to a lower efficiency. According to the FAO Food Price Index, food prices exploded with an increase of approximately 30% annually in April. It is the most violent crisis in the developing world. Food purchases constitute at least half of total household expenditures in low-income countries and provide food subsidies of many rising market government. Since increasing borrowing costs limit the financial area and food prices increase, it becomes difficult to continue. According to the World Bank, 10 million people around the world are pushed to extreme poverty for every percentage point in food prices. Food insecurity in many developing markets is currently a source of social unrest and geopolitical risk. Increasing food and energy prices led to protests in Sri Lanka, Tunisia, and Peru. Developed economies are also exposed. In April, approximately 10 million British food consumption are missed meals, and France plans to give food coupons to the poorest households. Inflation caused by food and energy prices is a U.S. campaign that can lead to a change in who control the Congress. Economists Alan Blinder and Jeremy Rudd argue that stagflation in the 1970s was due to increases in energy and food prices. Food insecurity crisis should worry the central bankers. Trade restrictions applied by some countries to protect local resources have a multiplier effect that accelerates food inflation. Export restrictions on Russian sunflower oil caused Indonesia to prohibit palm oil exports in April. Last week, India banned wheat exports. Global efforts to provide food aid have historically cumbersome and sometimes reversed. The USA, the world's largest food aid provider, requires that it will be in the form of food grown in the United States instead of cash. And at least half should be sent to American ships. As a result, a recently approved food aid invoice for African countries will see that the U.S. has spent $388 million to carry $282 million in food products. Economists and food aid experts say the world should focus on sending cash and expertise instead of only food stocks. It is much cheaper and much more efficient to help farmers to produce their offenses by adapting to climate and soil conditions. Food and fertilizer exporters such as the United States, Canada, EU, Argentina, and Brazil should accept not to impose trade restrictions and to remove them. The US and the EU should consider the ways to remove the harvested grain from Ukraine, together with the UN. Although it is not possible, China can contribute by removing fertilizer export ban and reducing corn, rice, and wheat stocks. Plans that will help countries to compensate for Russia's loss of energy exports. The falling demand should also reduce energy prices, as decreasing pandemic aid slows growth. However, the food crisis will last longer and will affect millions of people more. The war will end, but climate change will continue to affect food resources. Global leaders should remember the advice you reap what you sow.